everyone, today I'm going to be reading for story time The Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen and suddenly there was a ring at the door. Ding dong! <gasps> Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that could be. It can't be the milkman, he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Who do you think it is? Sophie opened the door and there was a big furry stripy tiger. And the tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? And Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Ooh. And he looked, still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him some buns. Look, he's got his tongue out. Look at his lips. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all of the buns on the dish. And then he ate all of the biscuits and the cake until there was nothing left on the table. <gasps> How greedy. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the jug and all of the tea in the teapot. Glug, 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 glug. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. <gasps> he ate all of the supper that was cooking on the so in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. There's a chicken, um, a cabbage, carrots and tomatoes, more milk, lemons. Oh, he's not particularly fussy, is he? And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. <gasps> He's a bit like a dustbin, he can eat anything. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of Daddy's beer and all of the water in the tap. <gasps> and then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing left for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath. Why not? <gasps> he drank all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they all walked down the road to a cafe. That cat there looks a bit like a tiger, doesn't it? And they had a lovely supper with sausages, chips and ice cream. And in the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. They, eat, they also bought a very big tin of tiger food just in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. And he's blowing his trumpet and he says, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye.